Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today, we're checking out a portable, lightweight sound system from JBL. Let's get started. This is the Eon One Mark II from JBL, a very portable line array system that puts out an incredible amount of power and is also battery operable. So you can use this for up to six hours without connecting it to the wall. In fact, I'm running it right now. No power cable required. Works just fine. It's loud, it's clean, sounds fantastic, and it has a ton of features. Let's take a closer look. So what we have here is a 10 inch subwoofer and we've got eight two inch high frequency drivers up here. We've got two different extensions, one here on the bottom, one here in the middle, and then the speaker array on the top. And you can use any combination of those, except that this is actually the battery. So we do have to have this extension in place if you wanna use it as a battery powered system. We've got up to 1500 watts of power available with the Eon One Mark II. That's an incredible amount of power. And it'll put out up to 123 dB of SPL, or sound pressure level. It gets really loud, but it stays really clear as well. I was listening to it earlier, playing music from my phone via Bluetooth, and it sounds fantastic. It's loud, clear, plenty of bass extension down to 37 hertz, high frequency response up to 20,000 hertz, so you've got full range response coming out of this one 42 and a half pound package. As you saw during the intro to this video, it sets up very easily, very quickly, and it tears down just as quickly as you'll see at the end of this video. Now let's talk about all the features that are built in to the Eon One Mark II. To do that, let's turn it around and take a look at the back panel. So the woofer section of the Eon One Mark II contains all the power, also all of the control capability is built in here as well. We've got a five channel digital mixer with three bands of EQ on each channel. We've got built in effects from Lexicon. We've got DBX drive rack technology, and we've also got Soundcraft ducking technology that lowers the level of the music automatically when you're speaking. It's great for presenters, house of worship, and those type of situations. We have the LCD screen here, controls, which we'll take a closer look at in a second, as well as all of our connectivity here. We've got two USB ports, and those can be used for charging your devices. Then we have our inputs for the five channels. We've got three quarter inch XLR combi jacks for inputs on three channels. We also have Bluetooth input and eighth inch input for your music players. A quarter inch jack allows pass through to additional systems so you can chain those together for more coverage and more power. As I mentioned, the Eon One Mark II can operate for up to six hours on a battery. They're very easily swappable. And there's also an AC inlet jack on the bottom which charges the battery and can power the device as well. The form factor of the subwoofer allows you to store the battery, the extension, and the high frequency array in three slots here, so it becomes a very easy, portable system to move around. Let's take a closer look at the control panel and some of the features that are available there. Our I.O. connections are here on the bottom of the panel. We've got our LCD display. To access the overall settings, we click the master button, which is our master volume control as well, of course. And this is where we can set up ducking, we can set up effects processing, our DBX driver act settings, and so on. Ducking, as I mentioned, allows the system to automatically lower background music when you're speaking. It's a very handy function. We can also access effects processing here. These effects come from Lexicon and they include chorus, delay, and reverb as well. And we have full control over all the settings on those as well as the effects return level. To return back to the main menu, we hit the back button. And now we can scroll down to the DBX drive rack. Here we've got automatic feedback suppression as well as an eight band parametric EQ that allows us to fine tune the response of the system. We also have an overall limiter that helps to prevent the unit from going into distortion when you're driving it hard. Here we have pass through and time alignment settings if you're using multiple systems chained together. And finally we have our overall settings and under this menu, if we hit master again, this is where you'd pair say your phone up with the Eon One Mark II both for music playback as well as for control using the JBL Pro Connect app. To get back to our main menu, we'll click the back button. Again, super easy to navigate. Now let's look at the settings for the individual channels. To access a channel setting, just push the control above that particular channel. For channel one, we've got gain. We also have dedicated bass, mid and treble controls, as well as the dedicated reverb control, but those correspond to the select buttons for the rest of the channels. So we've got channel one here, we can set mute status. We can turn 48 volt phantom power on and off. We've got input EQ, and again, we've got dedicated controls for input EQ here on the front panel as well. We've got effects send and so on. To move to another channel, 
we just click for it and we can immediately access those settings as well. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Eon 1 Mark II from JBL. It's their latest compact line array system, super portable at just 42 and a half pounds. It's a one hand carry, easy setup, easy tear down. It's an ideal solution for singer songwriters, for buskers, for house of worship, anyone who needs a portable sound system that sounds fantastic and that can put out plenty of output power. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this one or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.